Yo guys, what's going on? Bobby here, and today we're going to be talking about the worst brawler in the history of Brawl Stars. And if you couldn't guess it, well, it's my boy Doug, and it really isn't necessarily that close either. Doug got released a little over a year ago, back in August 1st, 2023, and well, my boy has been stuck in every YouTuber's F tier since that day. In fact, it's been over four 140 days since Doug has been released and for only one little week has Doug ever been above the F tier. The craziest part out of all of this is the one week he spent not in the F tier. Well, he was bugged. He wasn't even meant to be buffed. 2,400? It's a Poco heal. Brawl Stars by accident gave Doug double the healing. So for about a week, he healed for 2,400 instead of 1,200. Now, Supercell quickly fixed the bug and my boy is back in the F tier. For some reason, I don't know what it is. They just hate Doug. In this video, I'm going to investigate exactly why Doug is just so bad and see if I can think of any ideas for how to make him better. So first things first, we got to talk about what exactly makes Doug bad. Well, it's the fact that bro just has no range and you can't really do anything into anyone that's not a tank. It's basically impossible to play Doug on an open map because you just can't reach anybody and it just kind of feels like you get bullied. And most pros like myself can win with basically any brawler on every map. But the issue with Doug is there's just nothing you could do. That squeak literally isn't even trying. Like there's no outplay that I have. All I could do is pop this hot dog, pray somebody kills me. I mean, I got killed, but I mean, I just can't reach them. There's just nothing I could do. I'm literally getting tortured. At least I got underdog. Now the thing with Doug that kind of sucks is that with most brawlers, there's usually a mode or two where they're just really good and you can switch over to those modes, but it's not like that at all with Doug. I mean, Doug just sucks everywhere and there's just nothing you can do about it. There's no way you can make it better. He's just horrible. Even in a mode meant for staying alive, it's pretty difficult to stay alive with Doug because you just can't hit anybody. Now, I can, I guess, tank this damage, which is good. And we did actually end up getting a kill. Oh. But at the same time, I feel like it's all just a little bit lucky and any good player would be able to beat you with Doug. Now, I'm fully trying my best. Like, as a pro player, usually trying my best with any brawler is like a guaranteed win. Oh! No way we lose this, right? No way we lose this, right? I can heal. I can heal. Please! Alright, I'm just gonna heal my teammate. Now, the only good thing Doug can do is heal your team. Like, there's no way this cat can beat us now. That's a good win. Wow, I even got star player. Now, even though we won the last game, which is totally possible, you can win any game with any brawler, it doesn't mean that Doug is actually good there. He still does suck, and it's pretty difficult to do anything with him on any mode, to be honest. Please don't pull me. I mean, I can heal my teammates here, I guess. But even then, Doug sucks and I can't hit anybody. Well, we won the first round even though I did absolutely nothing. But that's 5v5 for you. 5v5 is a pretty crazy mode. Oh, I was actually able to get two kills there with Doug. But again, I feel like it's kind of the other team. Oh, three kills I'm carrying. I feel like it's the other team kind of just trolling. I'm going to go up and die because I'm just useless towards my team. And it's better I die than my teammates. Oh, that Primo just pranked me kind of hard. Please don't kill me. Oh god. I got cooked. Yeah, let's go, Tick. No! I thought the Tick was gonna put a head with me. Oh, I could get the gray. Well, I didn't get the gray, but at least our team got the kill. Now it's a 5v2, but that's how they want this to go. Can I even get this kill? Please! Oh no. Oh no. Am I really gonna be the only one left as a dog? Oh, I got saved. Oh, I'm cooked. Yeah, I don't know. Doug is just so bad. Like, there's really nothing that I feel like I can do with Doug to win these games. I did get the second most kills on my team, though. Now, although Doug does suck, he does have some decent things about him. I don't want to say good because I feel like that's too big of a stretch. But on closed maps like this, you can make Doug work into the right stuff. Now, I'm facing Pam, Colette, and Mo here, which are all somewhat tank counters. So I feel like this game, I'm just cooked and there's not too much I could do into this. 
But if you're facing other tanks, Doug actually is pretty good. I mean, you can always heal your teammate and against someone like a Mo, I don't think a Mo would ever be able to kill a BB because I can heal just as much damage as the Mo can actually do. Now, unfortunately against anti-tanks, there's just not too much Doug can do. Really, the only thing you could do as a Doug is just pray that you face some tanks and you could get your super and just chain it. Now, I switched to Brawl Ball so we can face some tanks and perfectly, we're actually facing a Buster with an all STMN loadout and a Sam. So this should be a good example of what Doug can actually do. Now, the issue with this game is that they do have a Dyna and there's absolutely nothing a Doug can do to a Dyna. Now, all I gotta do is start chaining supers. Oh my god, but these guys are absolutely not letting me chain supers whatsoever. This is pretty bad. That was pretty bad gameplay. All right, now this game we're going up against Kenji, Mo, and Macy, and I am afraid I'm going to do absolutely nothing this game. In fact, they scored in just 13 seconds. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of Doug mains out there that might think my gameplay isn't very good. Please kill me, please. Oh my God. No way. The one time I did something. But the truth of the matter is Doug is just not very good and you don't really contribute to winning at all. Now there are a couple things that you could do with Doug in my opinion to make him better. The worst idea that I've seen is giving Doug a tank trait. Because if Doug gets a tank trait, he's going to be un- Stoppable. He's instantly going to go from the worst brawler in the game to the best brawler in the game And that's not okay because nobody wants a Doug meta. What I think is Doug needs a little bit more health He only has 10,000 health and if you compare that to someone like Sam for example who can also heal himself But way more effectively he doesn't even have as much as Sam and he doesn't have any of the other Qualities that Sam has so why is Doug's health so low to be honest? I don't know but that definitely needs a buff Secondly, I would change his movement speed from fast to very fast. I think brawlers are supposed to be strong in some suits and weak in other suits. And Doug, well, he's a healer and he's a tank, but he's absolutely useless at everything else. All the other healers and all the other tanks at least have other things that make them good. Doug, absolutely not. So to finish off my thoughts, I think the best way to buff Doug is not to give him a tank trait, although that's what most people think. I think he should go from 10,000 HP to 12,000 HP, and I think he should go from fast to very fast. I think this would be pretty good for Doug, and it'll make him kind of decent into brawlers he's supposed to be decent into, like throwers and stuff like Sandy that doesn't do too much damage, but he's still always going to be countered by things like Dynamite and Surge and just all the anti-tanks in the game that absolutely cause havoc to him. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys have any other changes that you think might be better, also let me know because I read every single one of your comments. That's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back later. Until then, peace.